Hi, right, this is Kevin from Let Me Tech You, and in today's video, I'm going to be going, be going to be going over uh, why you should be using the TFVARS file versus just variables in Terraform. Now, this isn't to say that the variables file isn't useful because it is. It's just that as you start to grow and you start to use Terraform in specific parts of your environment, as you start to decouple your code to be more usable across different environments, you don't want to have to then change out a lot of different values based off of the environment that you're running the code in. So with that, inside your variables file, you can typically have like things like the instance size, but let's say in your dev environment, it might be like if you're using AWS, like a T2.micro. But in your production environment, you might need a T2.large. So you don't want to have to keep changing those values up. So in this video, I'm going to go over something really simple. It's just changing a um, address prefix for a subnet. So typically you could put it in here, you know, then let it run. But then if you need to put it in another environment or change it, then you have to come in here, change this. But then, you know, the other parts of the code and stuff might not, you know, match up with what, what was being referenced. So... What we're going to do, and that's why you kind of want to keep a lot of stuff variableized so that it's not too static to the environment you're running in. So instead of running this here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into this file. I'm going to create a new file called variables.tf. And inside of here, we're going to call it address prefix. And to do that, and this is just the way you can initially do it using the variable. So it's going to be called address underscore prefix, or you can name it whatever you want. And then, you know, you always want to put a description. So description, so subnet prefix for the VNet. And then inside that, we're just going to make, this is going to be a type list. And then default is going to be 10.0.1.0 slash 24. All right, so we can save that. So now we can go back to our code, get rid of this static value. And we're just going to do a var. So that's variable dot address prefix. And then save that. Now if we run this, we're going to go ahead and, you know, get what's going to be added and changed. So we do a Terraform plan and the default value for a variable. Right, what do I put wrong here? Oh, no, this needs to be type um, string. Save that. Then now when this runs, this is going to actually be able to see that we have the variable. It's being um, referenced. It should show that we have a couple of things to be added. So as you can see, four to be added. So now if we look up in here, shouldn't show. So 10.0.1.0. So as you can see in our variables, we have that in here, but it's not being referenced in here. So, but, you know, let's say you need to, then you want to use the same code in another environment. Well, that other environment, you may not want a 10.0.1.0 in there. So what you would have to do would be to come in, change this, save it, run it, come in, change this. So, you know, so on and so forth. But what you can do is we'll create another folder and we'll call this, let's say this is dev. It's going to be dev.tfvars. And that's Terraform variables. So what we'll do is we'll call it, we'll put a address prefix value in here and we'll call this 10.0.1.0 slash 24. Now, but what we can do is, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to put in 10.2.0 here. I'm going to run another Terraform plan. And 
And what's going to happen is you're going to see that it's not going to use the TFRs file. It's actually going to still use the variables file. And I'll show you the reason why here in a second. So when you're passing values through to your, um, so if we scroll up, we're going to still see the 10.2.0. If you want to, so and the reason being is, Unless it's unless it says like terraform.tfvars or dev.auto, you need to have the auto in there if you have anything that's not specified as actually terraform.tfvars in the file name. So um, it could be, you know, whatever auto.tfvars or whatever auto.tfvars.json. So, because you can essentially have another file that could be prod.tfvars. And then another one that's, you know, stage gene.tfvars. And in those could be different environment variables. And Terraform's not going to know which one to automatically use. So, what we're going to do is let's go ahead and get rid of these. Um, so let's get rid of the staging. I'm not using that one. All right, now if we go back in here, we can rename this and we'll do a dev.auto.tfrs. And now if we do a plan, we should get the 10.0.1.0 as the subnet prefix here that shows up. And, and so with that, once that comes in here, look and see what other, okay, so we scroll up. Now you see we have the 10.0.1.0 slash 24. So now this is gonna be utilized and not the main.tf or the variables.tf that has the default value. So, and I mean, if you don't have a value in there, um, one thing it will do is, so like, let's say you don't have a TFRs, but you do have a variables file. Uh, if you don't have a value in there, it's gonna make you put one in, in the command line when you uh, run your Terraform apply. So that's just a simple kind of overview of why um, the TFRs file um, can be more useful um, versus just using variables because then like I said you can kind of utilize your code in different environments without having to not necessarily it's not necessarily hard coded in the variables file but it's more work for you if you need to utilize this same module in another environment because now you have to go through and change out all the um, values that's in the variables file to match the environment that you're running it in. So again, that's it. If you have any questions in regards to the um, actual types of variables and you know um, things that you can kind of apply in your TFR file, drop me a comment down below. I'll be sure to you know, um, you know, help where I can as far as setting up things and like that and how they, how they should be ran. But again, you know, check out the uh, site, letmetechyou.com um, for some other uh, tips and tricks using Terraform um, and also some of the other videos on the page here. So go ahead and like and subscribe and thanks for tuning in. Hope to see you next time.